Welcome to a mail time. This is from KK. This is such a sweet letter. It says to the best YouTuber ever. And this is such a cute picture of your dog. So very beautiful. And there are some drawings. This one's of Toronto. I love how you colored their ear bonnets to match the colors they always wear and the little bubbles with what the horses are saying. So very fun. This is of Teddy. Charlotte looks so very much like her. And Apache, absolutely beautiful. And there are so many fun things in this box. I love how you included confetti. There's little model horses. It looks like this horse's name is Sally. She's so beautiful and golden. And this horse's name is Beth, and that she comes with a tack set. So pretty. I love the colors of the blanket. And there's tack for Teddy and Charlotte and Toronto. Some beautiful stickers. I love stickers and things for the ponies. A pony blanket and jolly ball. A unicorn slap bracelet. And the ponies are going to love this jelly ball in the paddock. There are some apples for the good ponies, and a trophy, and a strip of Velcro for crafting. Somebody was a champion at a show. This is quite a trophy, and there is a blind bag, I see. So many pretty things, a little bow, a sunflower, a flower drawing, a scrunchie, and a feed bucket with feed for the ponies. So pretty. Fun little accessories and some crafting supplies. This is a beautiful fabric. Thank you so much. This is so thoughtful and I love how you decorated the box. This is from Scarlet, which is a beautiful name. And look at how pretty this picture is. I love, love all the colors. And she sent a rainbow unicorn plush. Some mini little ponies. There are three little ponies here. So cute. Here is a much better look at these little guys. A super cool horse made out of all different colors of sand. Love all the colors. And a trophy for another one of the good ponies. Thank you so much, Scarlett, for telling me all about yourself and your animals and all your Schleich horses in your letter. And of course, for all these super darling gifts. This is from Elise. Her letter says, I have two ferrets, two dogs, and one cat. I love horses, and I cantered my last horseback riding lesson around the whole arena. I'm super proud of myself. That is awesome. I am so happy for you. And Elise sent me spirit. Like, how awesome. I didn't even know Schleich was making a new model that looked like spirit. He's so beautiful, and he just looks exactly like spirit. How awesome. This is so cool, and Elise also sent some tack, and Spirit is gonna model this blanket for us, even though Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron wouldn't wear any tack, but looks so cute on him. This is a saddle pad for Muffin in her favorite colors. We also have a little saddle and bridle rack to keep things organized around the barn, and this super awesome sign for Silver Star Stables. Thank you so much, Elise. You are so thoughtful and so creative. Oh my goodness, this is all from Haley, and where do I even begin? She made so many cute little halters and lead ropes for the ponies in such fun colors. I love how realistic this lunge line is, and this blanket is so pretty. All the ponies are going to be arguing over who gets to wear it this winter. This is how it looks on Sky. Super lucky girl. It fits her perfectly. And oh my gosh, Haley sent me one of the posable Schleich riders. I have never had one of these posable girls before. Like, ah, this is so fun. Okay, well, tumbled off. <laughs> this is so fun. And I even love how her hat, you can take it on or off. And even like her bracelet is like a separate piece. So it's like an actual bracelet. Such fun little details. And her hair is so beautiful. <gasps> She's so cute. This is so much fun. I never had one of these dolls before, so I'm just like having so much fun with her right now. And Haley even sent this pony, which I think is the pony that comes with this girl, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter because she's absolutely stunning. Like this horse is so detailed. I love the ribbons in her hair. This was so generous of you. 
Hey, we also sent this tack set that matches them absolutely perfectly. I love the color of this saddle pad. And she also sent this little girl figure. I can just see her pawing around with Elizabeth. They're gonna be perfect together. She's so cute. I love her tennis shoes and her skirt. Her and Elizabeth are gonna be besties. Like, how can you not love these two together? And there's this super cute hand-sewn sleeping bag and pillow for the girls. Like, I love it. So perfect. Because we know how much our girls love camping with their horses. And in Haley's letter, she says that is her favorite video I've made. And is that is definitely one of my favorites as well. I had a lot of fun with that one. I also love the video suggestions you have. Those sound like they could be super fun to make. I do not want to forget to mention these super cool jumps. These are so fun. Thank you so much, Haley. You're so generous, and this is all so beautiful. This is from Rosie, and she made some super awesome cross-country jumps. So fun. The girls are going to have fun with these. We can put them out in this field along with our other new jumps. She made a sleeping bag for one of the girls. They're going to have to go camping again. Camping adventures are always fun with them. And a blanket for Comet. He's very, very handsome now. Rosie also made a bareback pad, and this I absolutely love. It's a saddle bag. Look at how cute. I love it. A blue bareback pad and a medal for one of the riders to wear. I'll have to make a video where we have another horse show because we have so many medals and trophy and this is so cute. It's got so much detail on it. It won't focus in but it's detailed. So fun and some feed for the ponies, apples and beets. This I love because both my mom and I love lollipop trees and I love accessories like this. This will be perfect around the barn or the house for landscaping. And lastly, Rosie sent a tag set for Apache. Thank you so much, Rosie, for all these awesome new accessories. Look at this packaging, so fun. This is from Sophie and there was such a cute little package wrapped up in pink that said for Toronto in the box and I ripped it open because I was excited before actually showing you how cute the packaging was. Kind of showed you. Anyway, I had to open it and it's a, such a cute little pink wardrobe for Toronto. She is going to love this. And there are so many wrapped up little presents also fun and this is super helpful so the different colors of ribbons they're wrapped in is for who they are so that is such a clever idea but first we're going to read this letter it says dear Maya I would like to shout out by saying I love watching your videos you are an inspiration to me me and my friend have started a channel called Schleich Space Studios. Check it out. Anyway, I think she sent you a package too. Back to the subject. I hope you love and use this tack in your videos. Love, Sophie. Let's open these little presents. I'm gonna open this one. It has a green ribbon, so it's for Apache. Apache wearing his new blanket with his name on it. All right, I got all the little packages opened and they were filled with so much super awesome tack. Now I hope I have this right. I'm pretty sure this is a crown for Toronto. I hope so, it's super awesome. I hope I have it right, but it's a super awesome crown. Like very, very, very much her, very dramatic and very much for our queen. <laughs> I hope that I have it right though, but I think it looks really cool though. And Toronto's blanket and saddle pad, I put it in her wardrobe. There are so many cute little tack pieces. It looks like each of the horses got a saddle, a blanket, a halter, a lead rope, a bridle to go with their saddle, and a, wait, I already said blanket, but I wanted to show you. This is such pretty colors for Teddy, the yellow and blue. He will love that. Anyway, thank you so much, Sophie. Everything is so beautiful. Thank you so, so, so very much. This is from Clara and she sent some super cute homemade items. So I must show you this halter for Toronto. Super pretty pink rope halter. And these are actually super easy to put on. And she sent a blue one that I put on our new boy. And I also put on this blanket that she made. And I think them both together on this horse look 
course, I'm talking too fast and my words aren't forming. And I think they both look great on this horse with just what he has in his mane. I think it's really cute. And she sent a crown for Charlotte. Someone's going to be very jelly, but she has her own crown. And this is so pretty on her, even with all of her tack on. I love these little clay pumpkins. It is almost time to get out the little clay pumpkins. We're already doing it right now. I can't believe it. I'm so excited to get out the pumpkins. Oh yes, we're gonna put them all over the stable. These are so perfect. You can never have enough little pumpkins for around the stable, so these are perfect. And I can even, actually, I think they'll look better down here. If I put them around the bottom of the hay pile. Yes, I love it, they're perfect. I love how tiny and cute and organized this little grooming kit is. This will be a perfect accessory just to put around the barn. I love decorating with just tiny accessories, very darling. She also made a feeder or water for the horses and so many different blankets to go with the seasons. I especially like this fly sheet. This letter from Clara is so super sweet. She has a few questions. She asks, how's Sunshine? Sunshine is doing good. Just yesterday we went to our first ever hunter jumper schooling show, but we did the jumper part because we're not really hunters, but we had a lot of fun doing the jumper part. Sunny's a little zoom zoom pony, so that's why we're not hunters, but she does really good in the jumpers and I'm learning how to ride her, so we do good. Clara asks, how many horses do I have, both real and models? So I have two horses. I have Sunshine and Cash, and then Sienna and Shadow belong to my brother. And model horses, I think I have about 130, but that, give or take a few. And Clara asks, how many siblings I have? It's just me and my brother, and if I ever go to Briarfest, and I've never been to Briarfest, but I do wanna go to Kentucky someday, and my dog's mad. <laughs> does not want me to leave her to go to Kentucky. <laughs> Clara, you're so super sweet and thank you so much for everything. This package came with confetti in it and this super sparkly envelope is what I was to open first. So I opened the letter and read it and this is from, oh goodness, I need my glasses, Horses, Crafts, and Fidgets on YouTube. Love your letter and your horsey drawing and thank you for the molasses cookies recipe for Sunshine, Sienna, and Shadow and Cash. They will like that. There are little drawings for the horses. This one's for Apache, our boy, and we have one for Toronto. I love it. And then we have Toronto's phone. So cute. And here's one of Sunshine and I by the barn. Cute little Sunshine. I have to focus. There we go. Have those super cute little packages with tack in them and I love the decorations. So I think I got everything unpackaged and I put Muffin's new halter on her. I love how it's padded, so very cute on her. Toronto has a halter. I put Eclipse's new halter on her and she also has a matching blanket. This color is perfect for her. There is a set for Teddy and Apache. You are so good at making halters. They fit the horses really well, and I love the buckles you have to make with them. They work really well, and I'm ruining things over here. <laughs> and there's even some sparkle material. I think Trump is going to steal that from me. Now, this last package is for Owen, and it, he's actually not home now, but I will have him open it, and I'm sure he'll be very surprised. Thank you so much for everything and all the time you spent making this tack for the ponies. Thank you so much. This is from Matilda. I really hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And she is from Norway. And she sent a custom pony. Look at this boy. I love his face markings. And he's even got some glitter in his mane. That might be, though, from the little turtles. These glittery turtles. How perfect. These would be perfect for, like, a fantasy movie, which I have been really wanting to do. But they got glitter on their shells, which is so fun. I love glitteries. This boy would be so cute with Muffin and Sparkle. Muffin would, I mean Sparkle, getting the names all mixed up. Sparkle would really like him because he's sparkly. She made some art of Toronto. It says, give me carrots. I love her face expression. And this is her YouTube channel, The Sunny Range Horse World. And I cannot forget this super cute puppy. They, he or she, I'm not sure, is a darling. I haven't seen this model, I absolutely love it. We have lots of dogs around the stable now, so they are going to love 
this new addition to the dog pack. My dog is currently outside having a fit. <laughs> yeah, there's a load of hay out there she hasn't seen yet, so she thinks it's an intruder. <laughs> Back on topic though, there's also a blanket for the ponies. Ta-da! This is such a lovely letter. Thank you for the name ideas for the horses, and I love how you decorate it with sparklies. And she also wants to know how long I've been collecting, and I think it's for almost eight years. Thank you so much for everything. I love how you decorated this paper for your letter and for all the super cute models. Thank you so much. And the drawings and the tack. This is from Haley and Maria. They send so many cute little artworks. So look at this little horsey drawing. I love Shalaik. A cute little rainbow heart. And I love this. This is a racehorse with a jockey. This is really good. So fun. There is this surprise package, which of course I open, and inside there's so many little model horses. So I am super excited about these tiny, tiny, tiny little models. These are going to be so perfect because now the Schleich girls can have model horses. Like how perfect. Like they almost look like, like the bigger scale briar horses with the Schleich models, the Schleich people. Like how fun. Oh my goodness, the girls are gonna have their own model horse now. And there's also a tiny, tiny dog. Like how cute. I love these super uber miniatures. I don't think I've ever seen these before and I love them. I love tiny things. We have this model from Spirit Riding Free. This little model horse has a pink mane and tail. Very fancy. And this tiny little model horse, this little model horse is small enough, I think, to be a model for the Schleich people figures <laughs> so, so Teresa can have more horses in her room and this beautiful boy very beautiful he looks like the same scale as some of my uh, little tiny briar stable mates so he'll fit into that herd and there's a unicorn bracelet and they sent a letter that is super sweet Thank you so much, Haley and Maria. I love the little model horses and the artwork. Thank you so much for everything. This is from Lillian. She has one dog, one cat, and one goat. Her sister's name is Addie, and their horse's names are Moon and Bunny. Moon is Lillian's horse, and Bunny is Addie's horse. I love how you decorated the letter with so many colors and rainbows. Lillian also drew the ponies. She drew Alaska and Flint and Crystal. I love her blue tack. I love how you included it. So pretty. And Toronto's sister, Jada. I love the braids. You drew those so well, especially on her tail. So pretty. All the pictures were wrapped in these super pretty little bows. So pretty, I love them. And Lillian also made tack for the ponies. There are two blankets and camping rolls for the girls. They're gonna love these. This one looks like Stephanie is going to claim it. Teresa's gonna want this one and probably Sid. <laughs> she even made some rope halters. This one looks really good on this boy. He looks good in a rope halter. So pretty and I love how you made it. She like made the um, throat latch like um, adjustable and it makes it really easy to put on which is really cool. There are some bracelets, so fancy. And there's this little pony. So something about this pony reminds me of sunshine. Just something about this pony. Maybe it's the uh, coloring, but this is really is not sunshine's color. She's not a chestnut, but the chunky pony and the pose. This is just, I don't know. I love it so much. So, so, so cute. Thank you so much for everything, Lillian, all the tack and your beautiful drawings, and of course your letter that I really enjoyed reading. This is from Lily, and she has two dogs, and she sent pictures. This is her puppy, Ember, and she's so cute, and she is a Border Collie and just a puppy. And this is her other dog, Buddy, and he is a Labrador. Lily has two dogs, six cattle, one dog, one duck, sorry, 29 chickens, two goats, and one cat. And her favorite equestrian disciplines are dressage and show jumping. And her favorite horse legends are snowman and secretariat. 
definitely. And her question is, how many animals do I have? I have two horses, but I'm gonna count all the horses. So four horses, four cats, and one dog. So we have nine animals in total on our farm. Lily made some tack, so she made this harness for the draft horses. I tried to put it on correctly. I don't think it's on correctly. I will have to look at the picture some more and fiddle with it a little longer, but I kind of tried to put it on like, kind of like a harness, but it's really cool. I love the material you have, the leather material you made it out of. That's really realistic. Anyway, I know it's not on the way it is in the pictures, but it looks really cool on King. He can be a workhorse. This is super creative. So Lily made blankets for the ponies, but I'm pretty sure this is either knitting or crocheting. This I think this is knitting. So, but <laughs> if I have it wrong, sorry, but it looks like knitting, I think. Anyway, this is such a cool idea because the ponies will be very, very warm and it's just super creative. And this is so neat. She made a purple one that is a horse size and another full pony blanket that is green. I put this one on this little girl and it's super fun and it fits her really good. Thank you so much, Lily. This is from Sarah. Her little sister's name is Ava. Sarah has a cat, three dogs, and a chicken. Sarah made a tag, so this is a saddle pad, and there's also so many blankets she made, and saddle pads and sashes for the horses. Tronta is modeling her blanket with her name on it, and I put this sash on Jock, and there's also, I'm thinking that this pink saddle pads for Tronta, we can put more Tronta things in her wardrobe. This has Ice's name on it, and this little blanket I put on one of our little foals. I love the felt pattern on this, so cute. And there's a lariat. Emily and Leah will really be happy. Sarah also did some drawings. This horse has such a pretty mane. And we have Dixie and Misty. So many spots, so fun. Thank you so much, Sarah. You're so super sweet. And of course, I love how you decorated the package. This is from Lucy. Her YouTube channel is called Lucy and Faith. Faith is the horse she leases. And her and her friend, Gabby, also have a YouTube channel. It's called Riding Adventures with Gabby and Lucy. And Lucy made stable sets for so many of the ponies. So let's see, the blue and green set is for Wildfire. The orange set is for Apache. The rainbow set is for Ruby. And the yellow and pink set is for Diamond. And the white and red set, set is for Flora. I went and grabbed Flora and put her new set on her. So very Fancy. I would have never have like thought to put these colors on her, but I think it looks really good. And of course, the other ponies are gonna love their set so much. She made boots, a blanket, and a halter for all the sets. Thank you so much, Lucy. This is from Hannah and Sarah. Hannah made these halters, and look at this super pretty packaging she put them in, so sparkly. This halter is for Warrior, and there's two other halters. This is a draft size halter that I put on Jock. I love the colors on him, and I love the design of it and the padding. It looks like one of the Lemieux, Lemire, I don't know how to say it, halters. Super pretty, it fits him so good. And this halter I put on, this is either, this is Fireball. I have two twin horses, one has a scratch and that one's dynamite. <laughs> but this is Fireball, so pretty on him, it has padding too, I love it, I love the details. And Sarah did these drawings, this one's of Toronto, of sunshine, so pretty, and Muffin. There are some questions included with their letter and I will answer a few of them. The first one is, what is your favorite horse sport? My favorite sport is eventing. What is my favorite YouTube channel? So I don't really have a favorite channel ever that I really like watch all the time, but I really like watching Gypsy Equestrian. Her videos are really funny. What is my favorite horse breed? I like any type of sport horse or sport pony, so. That's not like an actual like 
breed breed. There's breeds within that category. That's a category, but that's my answer. If I could get another horse, what breed would it be? So I'm definitely not getting any more horses. I'm very busy with the two I have. But um, if I had to pick one, it'd probably be a Connemara, if I'm saying that correctly. What's my favorite thing about sunshine? That's a hard question. I like everything about sunshine. Probably how brave she is. And sometimes it's not my favorite thing, but she's really difficult to ride. But because of that, when you when I do ride her good and she is performing well, like that feeling beats the feeling of riding any other horse and it's super amazing. If I could get another animal, what would it be? Probably more kitties, kittens. I don't know how my kitty Sam Nat would feel about that. And have I ever watched The Saddle Club? I have not watched it, but I've read quite a few of the books and I think I missed one up here. What is my favorite TV show? I don't really know. <laughs> Probably old TV shows. I think those are fun, like The Andy Griffith Show. <laughs> those were great questions. And Hannah and Sarah have a YouTube channel called Life with Model Horses, and they have 127 model horses, which is so fun. Thank you guys so much for this letter and telling me all about yourselves. Thank you so much for the halters for the ponies and the drawings of the ponies. This is from JC and my lighting is getting a little funky, but the letter says, Hi, my name is JC. I'm your biggest fan. The box with the T is for Toronto. I know she loves this. It's personalized just for her. And there's also some tack here for Toronto that she's going to try on. Ta-da! And there's even um, jewels on it, which I know she loves. And there's a saddle pad for her. Very fabulous. And JC sent this beautiful boy. He's so handsome. I think he looks like a wild horse or he would make such a perfect western pony, I think. Leah and Emily are going to be so excited. I know they're going to want him around their ranch. He's so beautiful. I love his mane. I love how it's kind of short and it's so messy when he's running. So pretty. And this little puppy. Like, how cute. So tiny and adorable. I love the little tail. And there's also a halter and saddle pad for Cayenne. Thank you so much for everything, JC. I love everything, and of course, I love the models. This is from Enid. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And look at these beautiful drawings. We have Toronto and Teresa. Toronto in all of her pink tack. And this is, is of all the horses in the paddock. We have Charlotte, Frisky, Toronto, and I think this is Teddy. So cute. Enid also sent some farm am animals. There's a piggy, some ducks, a rooster. These will be perfect for around the stable or for around Lisa, I keep wanting to call her Lisa, Lean, Leha and Emily's Ranch. This is such a cool letter. There are some questions. I'm going to answer the ones that I haven't already answered in this mail time. So what is my favorite horse color? So I really like horses with dapples, like dapple grays. They're super pretty. Um, of course, I love the colors of my two horses. And... Yeah, I like, I like black horses, too. I think they're very majestic. What got you into horses in Shalike? So I got into horses when we moved to this place where there are a ton of horses. And I was like, well, this is definitely for me. And I got into Shalike because I couldn't have a real horse at that time for several years. So I did Shalike horses. And now I have real horses, and I still do Shalike horses. What is my favorite horse program or film? Heartland. Those are also super fun questions to answer. And thank you so much, Enid, for the drawings and the little figures. These halters are from Bryn. Look at how cute. And they even have a Jada and Mystery's names on them. I love them. They're so cute. I love the little buckles too. They're adorable. And Bryn also sent some drawings. This one, I'll try to put it in good lighting. This one is of a little Elsie on the bed. And little Elsie is right there. Because that's how she curls up and sleeps. This one is of Elizabeth on Patty the Lesson Horse. I love it. Elizabeth is so cute. And Patty looks so sweet. 
And this one is of Diamond and Toronta when Diamond comes back to the stable and she sees her mother Toronta. How fun! I love it. And Diamond, she's so cute. I love your drawings. They're so pretty. Brynn also sent two surprise packages and I don't know. I think there's tack inside. This is so fun. So Brynn sent accessories for Toronto. I love this little accessory bag. This is such a cute idea. I love it. She is totally going to use this. And she also sent Toronto a saddle pad in her favorite colors. But I'm obsessed with the accessory bag. Like what a great idea. The second surprise pack is for Diamond. She has a new rope halter, lead rope, and bareback pad. Emily and Leah are going to love this because they love their rope halters and they're going to love the western print of this bareback pad. So cute. Thank you, Bryn. Also, thank you so much for your letter. I love your drawings. This is from Emmy and look how pretty this card is. She has two questions. How old is Sunshine? She is 12. And how long have I had Sunshine? I have had her for five years. Emmy has one pig, two dogs, two horses, four chickens, one cat, and one hamster. There's some little pictures here of Emmy's pig, her horse Ranger, and her dog. And this is her and her horse Ranger with the flag. So fun. And Emmy also said this horse sticker. I love it. This little horse almost looks like Cash, but he doesn't have stockings. But it's really close. I love it. Emmy also sent some tack. Also, I really hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. But I love this blanket you made. I love it. I love how, like, it's like two pieces of felt and it's really thick and it kind of makes it seem like it has like a liner, like real blankets do. Anyway, I love this on our new boy. I think this is perfect on him, especially with this rope halter. So beautiful. I think this is also a piece of tack that Emily and Leah are going to like. So that's super exciting. And Emmy also made a tack set for Charlotte, a sash and a halter. So much fun. The lighting here is all messed up again because it's morning time. Come, the sun comes right through my window. And there's also a sleeping bag roll for Leanna in her favorite color. And a tack set for Toronto like Charlotte's, a halter and a sash. Thank you so much, Emmy, for everything. This is from Schleichhorse Crazy, and they sent this cute little bracelet. This is handmade. I love the little heart charm on the end. And in the letter, it says it took a really long time to make. So thank you very much. This is super sweet. And Schleichhorse Crazy also added some, also made some tack. There are several saddle pads in all different colors and a blue blanket. Schleich Horses Crazy has a YouTube channel by that name. And in the letter it says, I love your videos. They're awesome. Thank you so, so, so very much for everything. This is from Rose and she has three dogs and three cows. Super fun. And Rose also has an Etsy shop called KS, 2KS Crafts. And her sister crochets plushies for their Etsy store. And Rose has a few questions. So she asked, do I watch like a UK rider? I have actually, I don't think I've ever watched that channel. And can I make another Jumper Kings video? I would love to. I really want to make movies again. But I got to finish up mail time here. But yes, I'm going to get back into the movies, which will be super fun. And do I like cows? Yes, I do. I haven't really been around them a whole lot. I see them all the time around here. But I've never actually like owned cows or anything. Or uh, I showed cows I showed a dairy cow and a steer once at Fair and Round Robin, but that was the most like it actually got to be around cows. So, but anyway, moving on to the next question. Do I like short hair or long hair better on me? Definitely short hair. I love my short hair. I'm most confident with it. I love short hair in general, even like on sunshine. I think short hair is really cute. And are Tronta and Char Charlotte ever to going to actually be friends? I don't know. It depends if they can ever work out their differences. The lighting is crazy, so I'm trying to find a spot where you can see, but Rose did this drawing of Chica and Peaches. So cute. 
In the little surprise pack Rose sent, there's this pink blanket. I put it on buttermilk. Hopefully Toronto doesn't have a fit. There's also this darling little grooming box. This pink floral sash that matches the grooming box. This little pink halter, which I don't think this one's going to fit her. You put that on a different pony. And a lariat, or this would also make a really cool lunge line. I love the colors of this ribbon but like rope for the for the lariat super fun and a blue halter and lead rope thank you so much for these rows thank you this is from Hayes and this is a little saddle pad for Tronta or Teddy. I think Tronta is going to claim this, but wouldn't it be nice if she shared it with Teddy? And there's also, so this letter came in this super fun envelope that has so much fun colors on it. And I love these tapes. I have lots of these too. They're super fun. Hayes has some questions and suggestions. So can you make Tronta nicer? Trust me, I have tried talking to her, but she is a sassy girl set in her ways. Have I ever read the Betsy Tassie books? I'm probably saying that all wrong, but I do not think I have. And let's see, I'm going to find a question here I haven't answered already in the mail time. Um, could I do a day in the life of Toronto or anyone? That would be fun. And, and could I do a Teresa vlog? And, or I could do a DIY for a mounting block. That sounds like a really fun DIY. And a Teresa vlog would be fun. I haven't done one of those in a while. Hayes asked in the letter here where you could find like the retired or older like models like Apache and Charlotte. So, I don't really know, but I have some ideas. If I was looking for an older model, I would look maybe on eBay or sometimes Amazon has ideas like like options, but I'm not entirely sure actually. Apache, I got him when he was new and a friend sent me Charlotte. So, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Thank you Hayes for the saddle pad and for your questions and letter. How cool is this? This letter has like a wax seal on it. And I actually forgot one thing. Hayes asked if other people could name their Schleich model horses after my horses or use the same names. Of course, yes. Like, no one needs to ask. Like, totally. Like, yeah. And also, one other cool thing. Hayes is from New Zealand, which is really cool. This is from Meadowdale Ranch 200. The letter says, Hi, I love your videos. I love the role play videos with Toronto. I also base one of my Schleich horses on her. She is an Arab mare and her name is Biscuit. I make loads of things for my Schleich horse farm. And these are all of their horses at Meadowdale Ranch. And I read through all of them. Super fun. And also the like um, dogs and wolves. Super fun. And there was this little sweater blanket and this sweater blanket is for Charlotte very fun this is definitely different than what Charlotte normally wears but it's kind of cool actually I like like the little lacy bit up here so fun thank you so much for writing and telling me all about your models and for the blanket for Charlotte this super sweet letter is from Natalie. They have three ponies named Indy, Trinity, and Fiona. Natalie tells me about how they moved and her and her sister do a barrel racing, which is super fun. And they started out in dressage, but they've always wanted to be barrel racers. And Natalie asked, have I always lived in the state that I live in now? So not always, we moved to this state we live in now when I was six years old. And now I also asked how long have I been eventing? So I think it's about three years. So the first year we just did a couple of little schooling events. And then the second year we did lots of schooling events. And then this year, which just finished up, but this eventing season was my first year of doing USCA like rated uh, official events which is super fun I love them like actual three days of eventing instead of just like the one day schooling events and the first three events I did beginner novice level but just this last event that was last week like exactly a week ago 
yeah, <laughs> we get Novice, which is bigger, like three inches bigger jumps. Anyway, I loved it so much. It was so much fun. I love these miniature little magazines Natalie sent. Look, there's so many of them. They're little briar catalogs, little magazines. So cute. These are perfect for the little Schleich figures. Oh my gosh, Teresa's gonna have so many of these in her room now. I love it. So cute. And even they're like, even like on the inside, they're printed like so fun. And a couple horsey stickers. I love stickers. Ah! Especially ones like these are so fun. You are the sunshine of my life. Oh, like my sunshine pony and show jumper stickers. I love it. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Natalie. These are some super sweet drawings from Schleich Horse Lover 170. So this one is of a rearing pony and it says Schleich Horse Lover 200. Just like Fury. And this one get unfolded is of a marin full with a pretty backdrop so cute and the third one is of a dressage rider and this actually looks like Charlotte and Teresa so fun thank you so much this is from Macy and Macy has been watching my videos for over a year and she has a dog named Ivy and a horse named Sparkle and there's also this horsey drawing. So fun. I think this looks like Toronto with the braid. So fun. And Macy sent some tack. This is for Hunter and Toronto. So let's see what's inside. There's a orange blanket and two matching boots, a black halter and lead rope and a blue blanket with which with <laughs> matching boots thank you so much macy i love your letter i love your handwriting it's so pretty and of course the drawing and the tag thank you this is from Vivian. Thank you for your super sweet le letter. Vivian says, I love your videos and I watch them like every day. I also have a Schleich farm called Green Spring Farm and I love making any DIY from you. It is very helpful. And look at how fun this is. This is so artsy. This is super fun drawing from Vivian and little pieces of tack for the ponies and a blanket. This is for Poppy, this is for Toronto, and this blanket is for Dazzle. I love the fun piece of paper you drew and the ponies. So cute. Thank you so much, Vivian. This letter is from Autumn, which is a beautiful name. It's my favorite season. And Autumn recommends never using pipe cleaners for making model horse tack because the ends can cut and scrape the model horses, which that would be bad. And Autumn has a few questions. So she asked, do I play Riding Tails horse game? I do not. And how did I convince my parents to let me get horses? So basically, I guess like, like it obviously wasn't like a phase. You know how you go for phases of things? Like, I don't know. I went through a phase of like nail polish or whatever, you know, but like horses are not a phase. Horses is my heartbeat. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, they saw that I was like, okay, we'll get my pony. But I had to wait a long time to where we moved to a place where we could have space for horses. Anyway, uh, third question is, I remember on your video that you just played in front of us. Oh, I remember that. And you had long hair, but on the morning I'm not sure what that word is video you had very short hair why is that I got a haircut <laughs> and it was awesome and number four question is did you watch the bad guys I have I have not and love autumn thank you autumn very fun questions Fun little horsey drawing of the ponies in the barn and the girls in the sleigh and this is super cute. This is from Autumn. So cute. And this letter is from Sadie. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. But it says, my name is Sadie. I'm eight years old. Me and my sister want a YouTube channel, but my mom and dad say no. Can you do a video about Toronto and Teddy plus Charlotte 
get stuck in our world and have to get home before time runs out. That sounds like a really fun idea. Pretty please with a cherry on top. Aww. <laughs> that is actually a really good idea. And there is a drawing of sunshine with her little happy spots. There's a cute little phone for Teresa and it's sparkly. Thank you. A little blanket for Apache and horsey stickers. I love these. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. This is from a river. Thank you for the super sweet letter. And this sash, I love the sparklies on it. Who will look good in this? I'm trying to decide. Ooh, we'll put it on Clyde. Ah, it fits him very well and so blingy. And this blanket, I love the design on this. So fun. Thank you so much, River. This is from Simone. I really hope I have your name correct. The letter says, I love your videos and my sister is Vivian. She might have mailed you also and I'm very obsessed with horses. I ride them all the time. I hope you enjoy my halters and blanket for Blossom. With love, Simone. Silver Star Stables. Thank you for your super sweet letter. And here is the tag for Blossom and a drawing of a Black Beauty. So fun. These are so colorful. She's going to love them. This is from Schleich Animal Lover 1000. And Schleich Animal, 1, Animal Lover 1000 would really appreciate it if people would check out their YouTube channel. So everyone head on over. They would really appreciate it. And they have a couple questions. So what is my favorite horse to ride? Or who is my favorite horse to ride? Sunshine. Of course, I haven't rode many other horses, but Sunshine's my favorite. Cash is going to be fun too, but Sunny's my favorite. And who is who was my first like horse? So it was either the very old Lupazon mare, which I think I'm saying that read correctly. I don't know. I think so. Um, but not the model I have now. My first lips on mare, I ruined that model, sadly. Yeah, long story. Anyway, and, or it was either the old Persian mare. I don't know if I'm saying that right either, but either of the two. I'm not sure. Thank you for the super handy list of name ideas for animals. And there's also two blind bags that we're going to open. Have a little summer blanket for Toronto and a little halter, so fun, and a little puppy coat, so cute. Thank you so much, like Animal Lover 1000. This letter is from Raylan and it says, Hi, can you read this on mail time? I have been watching your videos for three years. I have watched all your videos. I have 90 Schleich horses. We have three real horses. One of them is a girl. We brought her to get bread. We have three cats, eight chickens, 11 cows, and one calf, one dog, and I have one fish. You have a lot of super fun animals. And this is a drawing of Fury. So beautiful. I love the sunset in the background. And we have this super fun blanket for Ace. It's so fuzzy and I love all the colors. Thank you so much, Raylan. This picture is from Fino. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And thank you very much for sending this. You're very creative. The lighting is getting a little odd here at the stable, but we're going to continue. This is from Sarah, and she is from South America, and I enjoyed reading about you in your letter. Thank you so much. And Sarah has a few questions. So some of these I've already answered in this mail time, but Sarah asks, did I see the 2020 movie Black Beauty? I did. I seen it once, is a little while ago, but I did see it once. And she asks, can you maybe make a video where Tronta and the other horses go to a fashion show? I think that'd be super fun, especially for Toronto. And she also asks, what is my favorite color? I love purple, blue, like light blue and navy blue and green, but like an army green. I don't know how else to describe it. They were also sent this drawing of Sparkle. I love how you included the little hair bands or little braids in her mane. And Sarah also drew Toronto and her Philly Diamond and Charlotte in her Philly Mystery. The shadows are not good. This is so fun. Sarah made a little phone for Teresa. 
this blanket for the horses and this saddle and saddle pad. This is so creative. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Sarah, for everything. This letter is from Katie. It says, Hello Maya, my name is Katie. I am 10 years old and I am a huge fan. I watch a lot of your videos and so does my friend. I hope you never ever stop making videos because they are amazing and I love them. Not only do I watch your videos, I also like Shelly courses even though I don't have a lot. I don't even have the stable. I love your DIYs and your series. Muffin is my favorite Schleich pony that you have, so I made her a blanket. Thank you for being a great person and for being the best YouTuber in the world. Thank you so much, Katie. Here's the little blanket on Muffin. It matches the little halter she got earlier. So cute. And this drawing, this picture of Stephanie and Charlotte is gorgeous. I love it. You did such a good job drawing the mane and the tail and Stephanie's hair. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Katie. This is from Sydney. The letter says, To Schleich Horse Lover 200, My name is Sydney, and I have been watching you for a year, and I have some questions. How many Schleich do you have? I think I have about 130, 140 Schleich horses, give or take a few. And she says, My favorite horse in your collection is Buck. Well, he is a very cute pony. I can see why. And Sydney sent this horsey drawing. Thank you so, so much, Sydney. This is from Lily. Her channel is Lily Like Schleich. And she has sent mail before, which is so super kind of her. And she has a few questions. So she wants to know, how did I get Adam? So Adam is one of the Schleich people figures I have. And Adam, my mom got me several years ago as a gift. So I am I think she maybe she got him from happyhentoys.com. Um... Not entirely sure though, but it was a while ago. And Lily wants to know if I can do more videos with Cayenne and Black Beauty. I would definitely love to do more videos with them because they're super fun. And Lily sent this super cute drawing of Sienna. So, so, so pretty. I love how sunny the day is too. This is gorgeous. So cute. Thank you, Lily, so much. And I cannot forget this super cute card Lily sent. I love the flowers on it. This letter is from Josie. It says, hi, my name is Josie. I love your videos that make me so happy. I am nine years old. You inspired me to collect Schleich. And Josie has 31 Schleichs. And this drawing on the letter is so adorable. This melts my heart. Josie also drew Toronto Beauty, Emily, and Sky. So cute. And Emily and Flint. So adorable. Thank you so much, Jude. And these were in a little bag that said they are for Sparkle. So I will give these to Sparkle. She will feel very special. Thank you so much, Josie. You are so thoughtful. This letter says, Maya, my name is Kennedy and I am six. And how are you? I am good, thank you. Are you 17? I am 17. How many animals do I have? I have nine. And I love your videos. Thank you so much. And what is super fun is there is a unicorn coloring on this side of the letter, which is beautiful. Thank you, Kennedy. This is from Paula. The note says, Dear Schleich Horse Lover 200 or Maya, I am a huge fan. I've been watching since your first video and I just recently got Toronto. I named her Firefly, but she still has Toronto personality. Your biggest fan. Well, that is so fun you were able to get that model. And Paula sent a little blanket and this ribbon to be braided into the horse's tails. So fun. Thank you so much, Paula. This is from Emma. Her letter says, Hi, my name is Emma and I ride horses and I do jumping and barrel racing. I am 10 years old and I have a dog named Molly too. I have 34 Schleich horses. I have Tronta. I got her off Amazon. I made all the tack and drawings for you. Thank you, Emma. Here are the drawings. We have Teresa, Tronta, and Teddy. Tronta the boss. I love it. I know she does too. And this one is of Fury, Charlotte, and Stephanie. 
There are lots of tack and accessories for the horses. This is for Charlotte in her favorite green color. And this I think is adorable. This is a feed for the horses. It's like chaff, like how cute. I love this lead rope. I love how it looks literally just like a real lead rope and the tiny little clasp that I, I'm literally dropping it <laughs> is perfect for the model horses. At this so many blingy things for Toronto and her blanket has her name on it and a bling saddle pad she is going to love this there are saddle pads for Teddy and Fury so these ones are for Teddy these are for Fury how perfect thank you so much Emma for all of this tag you must have worked so long on all of this thank you so much and of course thank you so much for your drawings and your letter so I'm not sure who this letter is from. There's no name included with it, but this person sent in some really good movie ideas. There's three story ideas, and I just finished reading through them all. Thank you so much for sending those. And they also sent this drawing of Peaches as a grown-up mare and Tronta. I love how you capture Tronta's expression. It's just perfect, and Peaches is so pretty. Thank you so much for this and for the movie ideas. This is from Amelia. The letter says, Dear Maya, I love your videos. My name is Amelia and I live in Australia. My favorite parts of your videos are Tronta and Charlotte. They're so funny and someday I would love to meet you. I love horse riding. I do it every second Sunday. P.S. I'm 10 years old. From Amelia. Thank you so much, and I love how you decorated the letter with purple horseshoes. Purple's one of my favorite colors. And Amelia also sent a picture of herself. You're very pretty. I'm not gonna show it on camera though because I'm not sure if she wants me to. But thank you so much, Amelia, for this letter. This letter is from Randy. It says, hi Maya, my name is Randy. I am 11 years old and I love both your Schleich videos and horse videos with Sunshine. You are so lucky to own her. My favorite video so far would have to be the Christmas special with Sid and her stick pony Chester. I also have a couple of questions for you. How old is Cash? Cash is one and a half years old. Have I always lived in Idaho? No, I have not always lived here, but for the majority of my life. What is the brand of material you use in your leg wrap tutorial? I looked on Amazon, couldn't find it. I do not know. <laughs> I bought that a long time ago. I'm not sure. Are you still homeschooled? In one of your old videos, you said you were because I am too. And yes, I am still homeschooled. Thank you so much, Randy, for your letter and all the fun questions. This letter says, Dear Schleich Horse Lover 200, I love your videos. My favorites are the DIY videos. I made the best saddle with one of your DIYs. Overall, you're amazing. Please read, or P.S. read on camera. And I love your smiley face, your silly face. And there's also a halter for Teddy. How cute. He will love, love these colors. They are going to be perfect on him. Thank you so very much. This letter is also from Vera, which is who wrote the last letter. So this says, Dear Schleich Horse Lover 200, I love your videos. There are they are amazing. You are the best YouTuber ever. My favorite episodes are The Lead Mare, Dressage Queens, and Jumper Kings. Can you make more mail times and a sequel to A Mystery at Silver Star Stables? P.S. I am nine and I have 21 Schleich horses. And she did a drawing of Toronto in her pink blanket <laughs> with her grumpiness. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Vera. And I I have been getting other requests as well for more mystery at Silver Star Stables, which that could be fun. I just have to come up with a good story to go with it. But yes, I will definitely try to work on that because <laughs> lots of people have been asking about that. This letter is from Savannah. It says, Schleich Horse Lover 200. My name is Savannah. I really enjoy watching your Schleich channel. I especially like your horse videos. I also love horses. Love, Savannah. 
And on the back it says, I am looking forward to seeing your next video. And Savannah included a drawing of Teresa and her horse. Thank you so very much, Savannah, for writing this letter and for the drawing. This letter is super sweet. It's from Lily, and I absolutely love your handwriting. It's so pretty, and I love this drawing of this horse. She's so pretty. I love her mane blowing in the wind. It's gorgeous, and there are some questions on the back, so I will answer those. Do I have any other pets other than my dog and horses? So I just have my dog, my horses, and my cats. Have I ever watched or read the Harry Potter movies or books? I have not. Do I like tea? What's your favorite kind? I love tea. Tea's one of my favorites. Right now I really like this black vanilla tea, but I also love peppermint tea and chocolate mint tea and chocolate hazelnut tea. How long does it take me to fully film, edit, and post one Schleich episode? So for, uh, let's see, about a 12 minute Schleich video, movie, um, it's about two and a half, three hours of filming, and then about an hour and a half, two hours of editing and thumbnail making. And lastly, any tips on starting a YouTube channel or Etsy shop? So I guess just have fun with it because when you very first start, a YouTube channel or Etsy shop, sometimes it like takes some time for it to get going, but as long as you're having fun with it, that's all that matters, and that's what's important. Thank you so much for this letter, Lily. I absolutely love the flower drawings. They're gorgeous. Lily also drew Toronto. I love it. So cute. And there are some saddle pads. This pink one is for Toronto, and there's a purple one. Thank you so much, Lily. All right, we have made it to the end of mail time. All of the mail is open. Oh my gosh, you guys are so kind and thoughtful and generous and sweet and you make me feel so special and spoiled. I cannot thank you guys enough. You're all so kind, I'm so lucky. Everyone's kindness really does mean so much to me and I really wanna make sure everyone understands that because I've actually made a decision that I'm not going to be doing mail time anymore. Mail time takes a really long time for me to film, so I kind of like have to stop content on my channel while I film mail time. And I really don't want to do that to you guys, and I really want to put my energy and effort towards movies, because I feel like movies are the most fun for you guys to watch, and in general, mostly everybody enjoys the movies most. So I really want to make movies for you guys, and I don't want to like... Like, I have to, like, kind of, like, leave for a while. Anyway, when I do mail time, and I want to try to be more consistent for you guys. Anyway, but, like, I cannot express enough how grateful I am for everything everybody has sent. And I'm so grateful for everyone that just watched my videos. No one has ever had to send me mail. Like, this, you guys are so kind and thoughtful and generous and Thank you so, so very much, each and every one of my subscribers and viewers. That is it for today's video. I think it's going to be a long one once I get it all edited. Thank you so much to whoever actually made it to the end. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!